Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Well, today's gonna, this video is gonna be another kind of upsetting video, but I think it needs to be told because it's very interesting on a whole bunch of levels. How I found out Joey Bricchini was murdered. In 1975, when I got out of jail, I was a confidential informant. I knew then that I could no longer be friends with Joey. And so I just made like I never knew him until this one day in the Queens District Attorney's Office in Kew Gardens, Queens. Oh, let me back up, let me back up. So I come out, I'm an informant and um, my handler was Detective Sergeant Jim Doherty of the Manhattan District Attorney's Office. And he was more like a father to me than anything. And when I got out of Greenhaven Prison, he was the one that went and picked me up with two other detectives. And on the right back, he says, he turned around, I was in the back seat, he turned around and he said to me, if there ever comes a time when one of your friends is being investigated and you don't want to work him, rat him out, all you got to do is tell me. You don't even have to say a word. If I ever ask you about someone that's your friend or your relative and you don't want to give them up, Simply put your head down. And we'll move on. I'll never force you to do anything you don't want. So it was six or seven months after Joey was murdered. And if you can just picture this. I wind up in the, in the Queens District Attorney's Office squad. Now that's New York City detectives that are assigned to the Queens District Attorney's, District Attorney's. And they work under their direction, just like in Manhattan, same thing. And I'm in there and we were doing, I think a case was Joseph Jeffries and we're gonna to get to him somewhere down the line. And that case fell in, into Queens. Or maybe it was Henny, the guy that I was hired to kill. I, I don't know which one it was, but we're there. And all these detectives were talking kind of openly. In walks an ADA from Queens. He walks into the squad. There's an FBI agent there. I don't know what the hell he's there for. And I'm sitting there. And don't forget, I didn't know Joey was murdered. I didn't know. And I'm sitting there and they're talking about a homicide that took place on a, in a car dealership on Roosevelt Avenue. Roosevelt Avenue. And I, I'm going, and I just was like shocked. Jimmy, like not only was he a great detective, he was a great father, he was a great everything. And he was great at everything because he was really smart and super, he had a sixth sense, I guess, about people. And I guess I went white. And Joey, uh, Jimmy picked up on it right away. And they're talking about it, and they're talking about it. And then they say Parliament. And I go, okay, maybe it was somebody else. And Jimmy goes, do you know anything about that? I go, I'm just hearing it for the first time now. Who got whacked? And he said, Joey Bricchini. That's how I found out how 
Joey died. So now don't forget, I never briefed the police or the FBI about Joey. I, my right hand to God, I never said anything. And boy, did I know plenty. I knew about the two cars that were in the river. I knew about the, I knew plenty. I, I knew plenty. But I, I just loved that guy. I, 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 I couldn't do it. So now, he goes, do you know the guy? And I was in so sh such shock, I forgot about our deal. And I looked at him, and I just put my head down. And then I lost it. I just started crying. And the squad in Queens is pretty big. You could hear a pin drop. I mean, I was, I was just, I, I didn't know what to do. I'm with, with all these cops and an FBI guy. And I got, I got up and I ran out into the hallway. Jimmy followed me, and grabbed me. And he said, you must have been very close to him. And I looked at him and I put my head down. That was our deal. And he goes, come on, come on, I'll buy you. And we went across the street to the deli on Queens Boulevard. And Jimmy never, ever mentioned that again. And of course, everyone in the squad then went, okay, that kid knows, your CI knows him. And I can only imagine the pressure he was under to get me to talk. You know, and I thought I was doing something nice when I made that tribute, but, um, so that's how I found out how Joey was murdered. All right, peace out for now.